Welcome to practice video number four. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about our swings and how we analyze some of our stats using ZEP Labs. So we'll go through what ZEP uh, sensors are and then we'll go to uh, take a look at our swings and some of the information that ZEP, Lab give, ZEP Labs gives us and then we will look at whether it actually can help you improve. Yeah. Labs. Uh, do you want to explain a little bit about what it is? So it's a little sensor you can put on your golf club and it helps you track stuff like tempo and hand plane and club plane and uh, club speed. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. So it just goes on there and you can, as you hit the ball, it will have your phone down beside you on the ground or just have it in your pocket, either one. And uh, yeah, it will give you all those stats. So we, we went to the range the other day and we took our clubs and we did uh, three swings each. Yeah. And then we are just going to share with you the best of each of those clubs. Yeah. So do you want to uh, go through your stats? So my tempo should be around 301 but it's sitting at 341. So it's one, it's like probably not my best. You're a little bit slow in your backswing. Yeah, and I'm not like going up and then really going down as fast though. Mm -hmm. So your backswing, how is your backswing? My backswing, it, it could be a little longer. Yeah, you're sitting at what, right? It should be 270 around. Yeah, and I'm hitting about 193, so it's not, not where it needs to be, but it's not horribly off, which is nice. Uh, club playing, so you want to have a zero, uh, zero or slightly uh, under under playing uh, when you come back on your uh, back on your downswing, and you are sitting at fifteen, fifteen percent. So you're so, kind of coming over the top a little bit. It's not horrendous. Like no. some people are around f fifty five zero, but you're around fifteen, which is not not horrific. Yeah, that's like, if I can just improve that, I think I'll have a little bit of a better swing. Mm -hmm. And then hand playing? Uh, 3% uh, going for zero, so that's pretty good. Yeah, and then overall, uh, let's uh, your club speeds, so your wedge? Wedge, I'm averaging like 58, nearing 60 with my wedge, which is pretty good. Yeah, for, for our youth. Yeah, and uh, irons are around 65, which is pretty good for my yep. age. Like, I really think I can actually swing it pretty good, which helps me. So what's your hybrid at? Well, up 75 uh, miles per hour. Yeah. Which is actually pretty fast. Yeah, and then your driver? 67, so less than my hybrid. So And it should be? More. More. Which is weird to me because i think that yeah i can swing the hybrid way better than the driver yeah so let's uh take a look at a few of your swings so this shot was an eight iron i normally hit my eight irons pretty good this one was a 73 so not the best but not horrible uh around 60 miles per hour on club speed which i can live with that for an eight iron but club plane was 11%. Better than my average, though, which is nice. Yeah. They got hand plane was 2%, so pretty good. It's as accurate as I can be. And tempo was not great. 3 to 3, 4, 1, which... Yeah, a little bit too slow. Yeah. Back swing, 183 degrees. Yeah, so you could go a bit of a bigger, bigger back swing. Yep, and uh, hand speed, 9 miles per hour. This was a 9 iron. I hit it 79, which is pretty close to 80, which is pretty good for me. Uh, 61 miles per hour club speed. 11% club plane. Not bad. 2% hand plane, which I'm really happy with. And a great tempo on that shot, so. Yeah, just right on. A backswing? 181, 
a little short, very yeah. short of my 275, yeah. hopeful. Uh, 10 miles per hour uh, hand speed, which is, okay. I'll take it. This one was uh, a driver, so I hit this 83, which is on the better side of my shops, which is nice. Um, around 70 miles per hour on my club speed for this one, which is actually not bad for my driver. It should be a little higher, though. Yeah, well, we decided it should be higher than your hybrid, which was 75, so you should be knocking in mid-80s, I think, for yeah, your driver. which would be nice. Uh, 4% hand plane, which wasn't as good. Because I'm a little more out there with my uh, driver mm -hmm. shops. 301 Tempo is another really good tempo. I'm really happy with that tempo. Bigger backswing. Yeah. And uh, 216 backswing. Yeah. So that was really good. And hand speed? 13. So I was a lot faster on that one, but not bad. Not bad shot. This was a pitching wedge. Uh, I hit it around 60 miles per hour club speed, 8% club plane, which was better than my most of my other shops, 2% hand plane, pretty good, and a 3-2-1 tempo, so not as good as my goal, but not too bad. 191 backswing, I'm getting there a little bit better with my uh, pitching wedge, but still not near where I need to be. Yeah, you can just get it. You just, like, like I said, you can get a lot more club speed if you just increase your backswing a bit. Yeah, and uh, hand speed, nine miles per hour. This one, sand wedge. A little rougher, uh, 72, but 50 miles per hour club speed, not too bad. But club plane, 3%. Awesome. That's pretty good. And hand plane, zero. So. My plane, my plane on this shot on the sand wedge is pretty good. Uh, tempo three four one, so not great. A uh, one thirty five backswing, not good. Well, just could be bigger. Yeah, my my wedges and uh ten miles per hour on the hand speed. Yeah. So uh, let's go through my summary for for my swing. Let's do it. My tempo uh, averages three to one, uh, which is right on my goal. Which is, I mean, tempo you're amazing at. It's one of the things I admire most about your swing. One of the only things. <laughs> Thank you for the vote of confidence in my swing. No problem. Yeah, makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. Nice. Uh, back swing, 247 degrees. Uh, goal is 270. So, uh, okay. Not yeah. over swinging, which is good. Yeah. Club plane, 11%. A little mm -hmm. bit over the top. Goal yeah. is 0%, so a little bit over the top. But that's a lot of golfers that do that. Yeah. Uh, hand plane, right on 0%. Amazing. That's yeah. pretty good. That's, eh? that's good. So that, I'm happy with that. My club head speeds, uh, they are for my wedges. 72 is my average. Goal is 75, so not far off. My yeah. irons... I'm at 73 average, goal is 80. So you can just put that up a little bit and you're dead on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hybrid, 77, goal is 82. Pretty close again. That's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Yeah. Driver, uh, 81. I really struggle with getting that driver up to speed. Yeah, if you can get it to 100, you're doing really well. Yep. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, the goal is 95, but I'm at 81 and 100 would be awesome. Yep. Yeah. Average, 86 in total. 86 is my overall score, yeah. Driver. Yeah. Uh, club speed, 82. Bit slow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, club plane, nine, so not over the top a whole bunch. No. Hand plane, one. Tempo, a little bit slow, but not crazy. 3.1 to one. Backswing was longer, all right, around 270, so that's probably as much as I want to go. And hand speed. Not 16. 18. Faster. faster. Nice. Great. So that's the that's the driver. My five hybrid. I had a 76 miles per hour club speed, which I was happy with. Club plane coming over the top a little bit at 12%. Hand plane, good at minus 1%. Tempo 2.9 to 1, which is bang on where I want to be. Backswing, 
244 degrees, game aiming for 270. Uh, I'm glad because I sometimes feel like I'm over swinging at the back there. So yeah. you know, that was that was good, kind yeah. of under control. Hand speed, 16 miles per hour, which is right around where I want to be. Yeah. So overall, uh, a good good swing. Seven iron, seven iron, uh, 89 overall score. Excellent, I thought. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. 73 club good. speed. Good. Club playing 5%, which is right where you want to be. Uh, getting close to zero. Hand playing minus one, which is good. Tempo, right on. Backswing, uh, a little bit short again, 237. Could probably increase that a tiny bit and get a little bit more club speed. Hand speed, again, 16. 60. I mean, I'm pretty 16 consistent is your there. pretty average there. Okay, really good shot here with my eight iron, and that kind of fits with how I hit that club generally. You're pretty good with your eight iron. You're pretty good with on the eight course iron. and on the on the range. So yes, it's key. Yeah, seventy-five uh, mile an hour club speed, club plane a little over the top, hand plane minus one, tempo uh, a little bit slower on that one, but not a whole bunch. Three point one to one, backswing a little longer, two hundred fifty-six, hand speed was. 16. 16 in the house. There You're we really go. really consistent on that shot. Pitching wedge. Pitching wedge, 76 miles an hour for club speed. Club plane, 5%. Hand plane, minus 3. Tempo, 2.8 to 1. Yeah. Backswing, 249. Hand speed, 15. Close to 16. Close to 16. I'm pretty good at that, at averaging. So you've seen all of our swings. Now the question is, can the Z sensor actually help you improve? Uh, I don't really know because, I mean, it can a little bit, but not as much. No, I think, I think the in interesting thing for me with the Z sensor is uh, you clearly have a better swing than me. Yes. Uh, and you get worse scores with Zep than me. Yeah. That's intriguing. So yeah. it's a little bit more video game than actual fact. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, so I think, I don't know if it actually tells you if you have a great swing or not. And I don't know that it can totally tell you if you're improving, but it perhaps can tell you if the changes you've made have made a difference, like maybe club head speed, like for me, if I go back uh, some months, because I have used the ZEP sensor quite a bit in the past. Yeah. If I went back maybe to uh, the fall, you could see that my swing speeds were not very good compared to now. And the changes yeah. I've made in my swing have really brought my swing up. Yeah, and that's good. Yeah. You haven't used the Zep a whole bunch. No, I, I use it maybe once every couple months. I don't use it as much as you. No. And I find my golf glove, I'll use it. Yeah. So I think uh, the you need something else to help you improve, but this is a good way to track to see if you've actually made a difference with what you're what you're practicing. Yep. So that's uh, that's the Zep. We'll we'll give you an update uh, later on in our video series to show you if, if anything has changed with our swings. We'll we'll improve, include these stats that we've had here and compare them against the new ones. Yeah. But we won't do it for a while because no point micro managing it. Just leave it to to do its thing for a while. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, the if you like this video, hopefully you will subscribe. If you want to see when new videos are coming out, you can hit the, the bell icon and uh, get notifications. And our next video coming out will be a fun one. Uh, it's a three-hole challenge. Three-hole challenge. We'll let you wait and see when that one comes out. Should be good. Pretty good. I like, I like that one a lot. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can hit the subscribe button. I hope you can like the video. And thanks for watching.